I just put V on how to fix a SD card that won't show up. You know, so this is micro SD. Work for the same for any USB card. Same for hard drive. I'll right, we'll plug it in. You get this here come up. You need to format the disk. Go format. You see here, please insert a disk. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. For some weird reason, it's actually just gives us the option to format it. Right, there we go. No, it's not Windows, Windows only, but unable to complete the format. Right, so what we're going to do to fix this problem, close out of that, uh, can't format E, uh, make sure it's connected connect with but just is not read only, and then try again. So, what we do. Yeah. Got properties. Tools. Now, yeah, initially, you could go to tools if you wanted and check the drive for errors. Um, this drive's not errors, though. They cannot be formed because the disk is not formatted. We like to format the disk, we'll say yep. We'll come back with error, can't do it. We'll do, I'll tell you, we'll try a quick format just in case it tricks us. Uh, no, it was unable to do it. So if you're getting that problem come up, this is how to fix it. Alright, uh, can't see it there. Right, you can either go to your search bar, type in the CMD, or you can right click on there and go to Windows PowerShell Admin. Right. Right, quick video on how to format a USB drive or a hard drive. So you've got a hard drive and a laptop. Maybe it's, uh, you can't access the laptop or the computer. Take the hard drive out, get a USB adapter. Plug it into your USB here. Alright. Now you want to format it. Now let give you a couple fixes in case, you know, let's say you've got one that's unformatable. But to get in there, first thing you want to do is type in CMD in the search bar. And you want to run as an administrator. Oh, of course, this is for most of your comp uh, Windows computers. Uh, there is a course with Windows 10. There's another way, if you want, you can right click down here on the bottom, right click and go up to Windows PowerShell Admin, okay, and it's going to give you a different type of one, it's basically the same thing for doing whatever we want to do, but anyway, okay, we'll shut off the CMD one in the background, we'll have to go off this one, right, so here you want to type Disk path, D I S K P A R T, or one word, press enter. Then you want to type list disk, list disk with a space, not one word. List disk, press enter. Of course, you'll see there 55 GB. All right, so that's that 60 GB one that I've got here, hard drive, it's just a small one. So we want to go select this one. Yeah, you don't have to write the whole thing of select, just S E L E will do. Alright, select this one, enter, alright, now what you can do here, if you want to see what partitions on it, you can go list partition, see if there is any partitions on it, still, alright, so you got a partition there, okay, we'll go list volume as well, just for interest, now of course remember, uh, if you had any troubles, um, trying to format them you can go into list volume and then select the volume and format it from there right so there's their drive here 
volume 4 it's been fat 32 and we want to change this to an NTFS okay so there's two ways around it I mean number one you can go select volume 4 and say delete volume this is not going to work one with all right, volume deleted. Okay, now we're going to go list partition again. Oh, list disk, sorry. List disk. Select this one. See that it's saying there's no partitions? That's because we just deleted the volume itself. Okay, so what we're going to do here is go clean, uh, select this, select this one again. And go clean. Alright, now what we want to do is create a partition. Because we need so the other thing is, let's say you've... Um, you try to delete your volume you try those things and it won't work uh, the odds are what you have to do is probably no partition you, it probably just needs a partition created and then you can reformat it so what you do is go your list disk again and then you'd be selecting this one which we've already selected but, but just to show you this again Uh, and then you'd say create partition primary now if you're wanting to make a um, split partition drive or anything like that if it's uh, an actual hard drive for multi-booting what you could do here you could you could space and then allocate a size size equals um, let's say say half the size of that one, twenty thousand, which would be twenty yeah you know, twenty GB. So I have one twenty GB drive and another one that's thirty five GB. Um, but of course you'd have to partition that thirty five as well. Create part. So after you press enter here, you come in and go create partition, primary size thirty five thousand to be able to or do thirty. Actually, you'd always leave a bit. So do thirty two thousand. Um, but anyway, we're not going to do it, I've already uh, got, got through this, but that's what you need to do to partition it. But as I say, if you're just doing it standard, you just want to fix that drive, you're not worried about split partitioning it, just write that in create partition primary, and then press enter, it'll create a partition, straight after it creates the partition, what you want to do is write list partitions, Going to come up with your partition that's created. As I say, if you don't allocate a size, the whole thing will be one partition. Uh, and now, what you want to do if you want to format that, you would now say select that, select partition one, press enter, and then of course, then you'd write format file system equals ntfs if you want ntfs depends what you want uh but initial with a big drive if you put fat32 it was fat32 on your usb sticks it's going to work and you corrupt the ones then you're trying to fix but on an actual hard drive um, they may not work so but there's another way around that I'll show you shortly you use GUI, GUI formatter if you've got a big disk 500 GB or 200 GB um, yeah, any big size 
hard drives that you want to actually format to a four, uh, FAT32 for storing games, etc. On. Right, but anyway, we're not going to do it. Oh. Yeah, let's say format it to file system equals NTFS and then press enter. Now, if you go out of here and you go to start it and there's no drive, unless you just let me show you here, we're going to folder. Well, you'll see there we've got a partition, everything's on it. Um, we'll go here, we'll go, and you'll see there it's not actually showing up. The reason for that is after you've done all this and fixed it, you've now got to assign a drive letter. Your drive letter, like here, local C, that's your, your main drive here. This one has got D on it, that one has got E on it, etc. So that's what's missing. That's why the computer doesn't know it's there. So now what you want to do is write list volume. All right, you see down here the hash next to the volume five because that's the one we've already selected. But I always like to reselect it anyway, even though it is already selected. Select volume five. And you want to put assign letter equals uh we'll make it b oh, capital all right sweet now you see the computer's automatically loaded it up and it detects it as a drive now so now you have one fixed hard drive or ssd drive or usb stick Whichever way, that's one way of fixing it. Right, I hope that helps you there. Uh, of course, to get out of here, you can just close it up at the top. Ready, close by the top right, or type an exit. And then exit again.